So what, what do I call you? Um, just go by Hillary. Hillary? Yeah. All right, Hillary. Hillary, uh, where are you from originally? Where'd you grow up? I was born in Houston, Texas, but I moved from there when I was two years old. And then I basically moved out here to California and I grew up in Visalia, Fresno area, which is about two hours north from here. Right. And uh, I lived there ever since. So you're living, you're living in LA now? Yes, I and am. I just moved from Arizona here. Got it. And uh, tell me about your childhood. You grew up with uh, both your parents? I did not. So I actually got taken away from them when I was two years old. That's why I had to move from Texas. And then I went and lived in Nebraska from two to seven with the foster family. Mm. And then thankfully my biological grandmother ended up adopting me when I was seven years old. But unfortunately she'd passed away a year later. So then I got passed down to my biological mother's sister, my aunt, and she's who I call my mother, who raised me, and that is my mother. And I've been with her ever since. What happened to your actual parents? They're still, I know that my dad lives in San Diego, apparently. Um, my mom, actually, when I go back to Visalia, I see her on the road in a tent, just doing her drugs. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So she's not doing well, still. Yeah. So, uh, how was your childhood other, otherwise? Um, honestly, it was uh, it was well, but I really don't remember much from you know like seventh grade below. Like I think a lot of my brain blocked it out or something because I don't really remember much of it. W was there any kind of abuse during your childhood or anything like that? Um. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um. One of the reasons I was actually taken away from my parents when I was younger, um, apparently my mother had walked in on my dad molesting me, and I was damn near only like three years old, so. Jesus. Um, I don't remember it, obviously, because I was very young, and as I said previously, I don't remember a lot from like seventh grade below. Um, that was another reason um, she had like let like CPS and like know about that too, so yeah. I mean, I don't remember much like I was saying, but it's not an easy topic. Yeah. But but what I do remember, it was it was nice with the foster family. Yeah, you had, a, you had some rough yeah. rough roads there. Mm -hmm. What? Um, so you you got into stripping at what at what age? Right when I turned eighteen. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. I'm 25 now. And you worked, uh, that was what city? Um, San Luis Obispo. So after I turned 18, I, about two days, two days later, I got up, moved out of my parents' house, and uh, went to San Luis Obispo, and I started working, doing outgoing parties, because in San Luis Obispo, they actually don't have any strip clubs. The closest one is like in Santa, Santa something, and it's still like 30 minutes away. Mm. Um, so I just did outgoing party, like bachelor parties, birthday parties, and all that. And there's a lot of work in San Luis Obispo because a lot of people will go there for like their bachelor parties. It's very well known for that. And very expensive town and fun and all that. Wine country, right next to it. So I just started doing bachelor parties and all that stuff. And I still currently do that. So, but out there is where it started. Yeah. And stri uh, what do you call it? Stripping? Exotic yeah. dancer? What, 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 exotic what, dancer. Exotic dancer, yeah. <laughs> it's always weird putting on your application for work, like if you want to get a real job, I'm like, what do you do? And I'm like, entertainer? <laughs> so uh, how do you find that as a career? Is it, is it, do you get treated nicely by the guys, your customers? Um, yeah, a lot of them are really nice, and then a lot of them know what you're doing, know what you want, like, we know this girl's just here talking to me for the money, I'm not really what she's saying I am. <laughs> But it's always a hit or miss. Yeah. Yeah. And you make good money at it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty decent money. Like when I was doing the bachelor parties, I was making 90 an hour plus tips. So I would go home with like four or five hundred dollars in an hour, which is what I like about doing the outgoing parties because you're always guaranteed an hourly wage or an hourly whatever you want to call it. Um, rather than at a club, you don't you can work for an hour and not get paid a single dollar. Mm -hmm. Like it always depends on who's coming in, like if you have your regulars or not and all that. What are the downsides of being an exotic dancer? 
when you want to get them into like the VIP rooms and stuff, as I was mentioning earlier to you, yeah. um, you gotta you gotta sell it. You gotta tell them, oh yeah, you're gonna get this, you're gonna get that, you're gonna get whatever you want. And then you get back there and you don't do any of what you said. <laughs> and they get a little pissed, but they already paid up front, so you already made your money. <laughs> but then you just gotta sit there and hear and bitch or let them just <laughs> roll with it. <laughs> so do you have uh, kids of your own? I do not. You don't? Actually, I have two boys, my two fur babies. <laughs> two dogs? Yeah. Got it. And uh, so do you, do you find having relationships tricky with uh, the career that you have? Um, uh, yeah. Some a lot of people are judgmental about it, and then a lot of people they praise me for it. They're like, "Wow, I can never do that, but go for you," yeah. or "Good for you." Um, uh, Relationship-wise, like boyfriend, I, yeah, I currently have a boyfriend. Um, honestly, the past two boyfriends I've had, um, I've had while I've been dancing, and they've they've got used to it, like. They're like, bring home the money, baby. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they get jealous. Um, my first boyfriend I had during doing this, uh, he didn't care at all. He didn't want to know anything about it. And my boyfriend now, he cares a little more, doesn't really like it. But he wants to, like, kind of know, like, what goes on, you know? I don't know. It's just different. Yeah. <laughs> so... When you were a kid, did you have dreams of a different career, different life, different path for your life? Yeah, being an actress, actually. Um, I got accepted to uh, one of the top five acting schools, NYCDA, New York Conservatory for Dramatic Arts. But I didn't have the funds to go right out of high school, and that was the only college I applied for. But, and I, I can still go along that road. I mean, I'm living in L.A., so who knows? You never know. Mm -hmm. That's great. What, what are the worst and best things about being a dancer best thing the money <laughs> obviously yeah. um, I don't know I like the attention um, the pole dancing I like the pole dancing a lot I mean it's pole dancing like just by itself is the best fitness for you um, and you always like you always go into work you're gonna find something new every day like you're never gonna get bored <laughs> as well uh, with other jobs I feel like oh, I gotta go to Subway and make some sandwiches today you know <laughs> like right. you're always gonna you're always gonna have fun and find something find maybe find a person with more money than last night you know <laughs> any, any, downs any downsides to it? yeah a lot um, a lot of guys will try and when you get back into the rooms so they'll try and take advantage of you and, and like I've gotten guys kicked out of there before like and then, yeah, there, you're, yeah, there's a lot of just really rude people too. Like, there's been times where like girls would just come into the club and just uh, be there with by themselves, actually, just like a group of them, and just sit there and like just talk down. On other side, on other times, there'll be a bunch of girls that'll come in and just love getting lap dances from you. So, yeah, there there can be a lot of hate towards it, just like every other industry too, though. Yeah, but. Yeah. I don't know. I don't... I don't know. I personally like it. I mean, I'm still doing it. I'm 25. I've been doing it for seven years now. But you just got to let... When people just talk shit upon you or... You just got to let that pass you by and be like, well, whatever. Like, I don't know. You got to have thick, uh, thick skin. Yeah. yeah. You have to have... I was just about to say, you have to have thick skin and not let what other people say get to you. Just work for your money. <laughs> All right, Hillary, thank you so much for coming in and talking to me, and uh, good yeah. luck with wherever you go from here. Thank you. Thanks.